1964 Kennedy half dollar. Graded in mint state 67 by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, a delightfully toned and original superb gem from the inaugural issue with fully pristine surfaces throughout. The marbled patina of bronze, gold, and powder blue hues is complemented by significant satiny luster looming beneath. Well struck and thoroughly attractive it ended up selling for $1,020. Number 7. 1956 Proof Roosevelt Dime. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo. According to Heritage Auctions, the design elements of this magnificent Roosevelt dime are fully detailed and richly frosted, creating intense cameo contrast with the deeply mirrored fields. The completely brilliant surfaces are just one tick away from technical perfection and eye appeal is terrific. It was sold for $19,975. Number 6. 1953s Jefferson Nickel. The 1953S is one of the strike rarities in the Jefferson Nickel series, posing a challenge for registry collectors focused on full steps coins. This piece displays satiny luster with a hint of light champagne toning. Moderate dye erosion is apparent on each side, causing metal flow lining in the margins, but the steps of Monticello are sharply defined. This MS66 full step specimen was sold for $16,800. Number 5. 1959 Washington Quarter. Graded as MS67 by PCGS. Most condition census Washington quarters from the 50s are dramatically toned, and the present superb gem is no exception. Vivid blushes of cherry red, aquamarine, and orange patina alternate across lustrous and unmarked surfaces. It ended up selling for $17,250. Number 4. 1955 Lincoln Cent. Graded as MS67 Plus Red by PCGS and proven by CAC. A sharp, carbon-free superb gem with exceptional surface preservation and satiny copper red mint luster. The 1955 Lincoln Cent is scarce in this lofty grade, and CAC endorsed pieces are rare. It ended up selling for $38,400. Number 5. 1950 D Washington Quarter with repunched mint mark D over S. Graded in mint state 66 by PCGS. The upper loop of the S emerges above the over mint mark D. This important guide book variety is much rarer in better mint state grades than its 1950 SD counterpart. The essentially brilliant surfaces are lustrous and crisply struck. Only delicate grazes on the obverse field and motifs determine the grade. Minor strike doubling on the Denver mint mark is usual for the variety, as is the slender horizontal die break on the eagle's head. It was sold for $16,450. Number 5. 1958 Half Dollar. Graded as PR68 Plus Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to NGC, the million plus sales of 1957 proof sets alarmed collectors and speculators alike, and the number of sets sold in 1958 fell drastically. Still, the mintage was higher than for 1956, and any hesitation was short-lived, a fact established by 1959 sales. Gems are readily available for this date, and even cameo proofs are fairly plentiful. Only at the ultra cameo or deep cameo level is this issue scarce. This elusive specimen fetched a sum of $32,900. Number 1. 1959D Lincoln Cent. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1959 D. Lincoln Cent is one of the best struck coins for the Memorial Lincoln Cent series from 1959 to 1973. As within those years coins are very difficult to come by in grade of MS67 or higher. After 1973, they become a bit more common in MS67 condition. Grades up to MS66 are usually common and even nice examples in MS66 are easily obtainable. In MS67, not as many examples available. MS-68 examples are almost unheard of. This is the single specimen so far reported by PCGS in this high-end grade. It ended up selling for $38,400. These coins aren't just artifacts of the past, they're opportunities to make big money in the present. So, whether you're a seasoned collector or a budding investor, keep your eyes peeled for these hidden riches that could turn your passion into a profitable venture. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and subscribe, God's willing, See you in the next episode.